doing shit. Ooh. Wait. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Do you see what she has? Fucking mic. Out of the way. Look at her. Do you see what she has? Yeah. I caught you. 4K. Yeah. What do you have? Huh? What do you have? Look at her. She knows. <laughs> Usually when I look away, that's when she starts doing stuff with it. I gotta redo that shot because this fucking mic was right in the way. Okay, we go. Okay, okay. I don't want to lie. I don't want to walk. Okay, I can put a little bit. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 9. Epi another Episode 9. Our fifth Episode 9 so far. Okay. Okay. What? <sighs> There's really nothing to say. We know the drill at this point. We know the drill. Okay? Someone's dying. Someone's getting waxed. Someone's getting offed. Just don't know who it is. You guys know my theory by now, right? Season 1, Episode 9, it was a major death. Season 2, Episode 9, it was a battle with Blackwater. Season 3, it was Rob's death. Season 4 was the big battle again. Eager died, but so RIP her. But it was mainly focused on the battle. Now this, I'm, I'm, so this means somebody is dying. Somebody is dying today. It's just a matter of who. It's definitely not going to be a big battle because that's what we got. We got that last episode. We got that in episode eight of season five. Okay. <sighs> Which was an amazing episode. By the way, we're all fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're all fucked. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of guessing like those, uh, the, the white walkers and the whites, they're all going to come in and start affecting all the other houses, mostly in season six. So I'm not really going to worry about, I'm not going to focus on that for this episode, but this this episode will be a w as long as cersei or ramsey dies it will be a w episode as long as one of them dies or alternatively thirdly if nobody else dies because i don't really i don't really want anyone else to die like i'll be i'll be kind of hurt if anyone else dies really maybe the, okay there's probably a care oh bolton yeah fuck that guy but like there are okay obviously there's other characters that are like that don't really come to mind but they don't stick out as hard as Cersei or Ramsey. They need to die. Now, Cersei got Rash thrown in jail, which, okay, as I was editing the video, um, I realized that Peter, when he was talking, Peter Baelish, when he was talking to Elena, he was like, I have a handsome boy for you. He's talking about Lancel, right? That's what I think. And so Lancel ratted on her to the High Sparrow about all the bullshit she, uh, she did behind the scenes because he, he saw it for himself. He used to be the squire for Robert, right? And I kind of just thought, like, oh, Lancel did that, like, on his own. You know, like, he just went out of his own way to go and do that. Like, Baelish didn't tell him to go and, do like, do that. So I guess Baelish did. I'm assuming that's who Baelish is talking about. But Lancel is who I'm assuming Baelish is talking about. So, so okay, Ramsey, he did tell Bolton, like, oh, just give me 20 men. I'll go assassinate uh, Stannis myself, okay? He's not fucking doing that. I'm sorry. You're not that guy. I mean... Okay, no, no, no. When Yara went to go save Theon, he, uh, Ramsey kind of waxed them. Not gonna lie. Okay, he might be that guy, but nah, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Not Stannis. Not Stannis. No way. Big B might kill him trying to save Sansa. I don't know. I hope that if I hope Ramsey goes and tries to assassinate Stannis and he just gets waxed, it just goes so bad. It just gets his throat slit. And they set him on fire like they're gonna do to Mads. I want no, I want Ramsey to be set on fire. That's how I want him to be fucking dead. No mercy shots. Let him burn to death. Okay. But oh, and also Marge and Loras are also on trial. So now okay, the high the high sparrow old old guy or whatever. I don't know his name, so I apologize, but he didn't really give an exact punishment. When Cersei was asking, like, oh, what's their punishment? He was like, it depends what the god demands or whatever. He never gave, like, an exact punishment. I'm assuming it's death or some sort of torture, so. So if Marge or Loras dies, I'll be pretty fucking hurt, too. 
I really, please no, please just be Cersei or Ramsey, please. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. I've been ranting for 10 minutes. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be on Patreon. So let's start this episode. Oh no, why is Melisandre worried? <gasps> oh, it's Ramsey! He's here! Oh, he sent the he sent their he fucking lit their tents on fire. No! <laughs> oh those! A band of 20 men, maybe. Uh. Yeah, 20 men with Ramsey. Before Fuck. anyone spotted them. Fuck! Still getting a count, but hundreds are dead. God damn it, dude. Alright. Without a single guard sounding the alarm. The Northern yeah, fuck. Fuck our guards. With the enemy, find out the truth and then hang them. Oh my. Hang. <laughs> find out the truth and then hang them? Regardless? Yeah, I mean. If they fail, they're fucking fired. And if they conspire against us, then... all right. Damn, I thought Ramsey was gonna try and assassinate Stannis, not just sneak, not just run up and light their shit on fire. <laughs> all right, what's John thinking after what the fuck just happened? I mean, uh, it's not smart for Ramsey to literally try and assassinate Stannis. I mean, bro, if no one knew they're in the camp, he probably could have, but he doesn't know what ten he's in, and it's just he's probably it's just too much. So I guess it's just better to attack them and cut the resources and dip damn that's not that's not that many people bro like that's that's a lot of, okay that's a lot but like it's not enough how many people in there like 2,000 you gonna let us in bitch or what what are we uh, okay oh John was worried they weren't gonna actually let them in I went to save them I failed yeah Every one of them is alive because of you, and no okay, one Sam. else. Ninety percent of them died. Okay. <laughs> yeah, everyone from the Night's Watch is just like, "What the fuck?" Like they're pissed about it. Even yeah, even he's like, "I can't believe we're doing this." You have a good heart, Jon Snow. Mm-hmm. It'll get us all killed. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yeah, you know who had a good heart, guys? Rob. <laughs> it's the guard I'm sending you back to Castle Black. Take sure the Night's Watch has all the men it requires. Ah. Uh, you can guard all 19 castles on the wall if you so wishes. Ah, uh, fuck. He needs the resources, but mm -hmm. Stan Stan's stalling so hot for you right now. Yeah. But Stannis is their king, though, I guess. Well, at least let me take Shireen. The siege is no place for a little girl. My family stays with me. Bro, so there was just wants a friend to go with. But why am I getting a present? Because you deserve it. Because I'm leaving. This is my own poor way of saying thank you. For teaching me to be a grown-up. Aww. The Dance of Dragons when I'm back. You will read it yourself. <laughs> Damn, I feel like he likes her. Not in that way. But he connects with her a lot. Because like he lost his son, you know, and like his son taught tried to teach him how to read. And so like she's trying to teach him how to read. And this time he's accepting it. And like, yeah, his son died, so he's like he feels probably like shitty about it. So he's like, you know what? Teach me how to read. Cause he he wishes he could spend he could probably spend that time with his son again. How should Joel? She bite. <laughs> Bro, you got knocked the fuck out. What do you mean? The last meal before the beheading. Oh, no. I can't bear it. No, no way. But I've seen war. We don't want that. Starving in the cities. Yeah. I don't want to lead my people into that hell. No, you want to... Smart. Yeah. Smart. King of the Andals and the first men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. I like him, you know. He just wants peace, bro. He doesn't want this bullshit drama. He's like, I just want to... I want I want to be in peace. That's it. But she wants revenge for Obrien. <sighs> so... So you literally can't get revenge for Obrien, and like you're literally starting a war if you do it. On his sister's return to the capital, I cannot disobey my king's command. Damn, yeah. Their engagement must stand. Okay. Was named to the small council before his death. Yeah. You have my word. Okay, okay. The king's slayer. Dude, he had to kill him. What do you- You can't stand. You don't know- No spine. Ah, uh, I mean- Speak to me that way again, and you won't. Yeah, bro, this guy, he's just killing with kindness. A little subtle threat. A little threat right there, but... Why as to the fate of my man, Bronn? Tell me, Sir Jamie. Yeah, we gotta get Bronn out, too. 
If we, if we don't get brawn out, deals off. If anyone should be punished, it's me. Yeah, you can come my other hand. Just learn judgment if he's to rule one day. I'll let him decide. No, bro, don't. No, we're not. No, he's going to kill Braun. Have mercy. Be like that guy. The value of mercy from my father. Ah, oh, yes. I'll set your man free. Okay. You're a good man. What's the catch? On one condition. What? Oh, what's the condition? Why do we play? I'm better than you. I'll always... Oh. That game's so easy. Once? Oh, she, she would have missed me. That's a good game to get them, hit their hands and slap the fuck out of them in their face. They'll be so focused on their hands, they won't be, they, they won't see it coming. Too slow. Oh, <laughs> oh, bro, I'm sorry, but if like, their, their slap's not telegraphed, like if, if they don't go like that, you're never gonna, you're never gonna dodge it. Watch Michael J. White do it. He makes it look really good. Realized there were knights of the black water. Only the one. I believe you've already met. One of a kind. There was one condition. Yeah, what is it? I feel like it's just gonna be him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. I thought they were just gonna like humiliate him and just I don't know, make make him like a I think it's called a jester. Whatever, just, you know what I mean. Whatever, fuck it, never mind. <laughs> what does she see? <gasps> oh, pff, oh, that's, uh, that's fucking Sir Marin, I, I think. Oh, that motherfucker. Nothing too awful. Good to see. You. See, is he gonna recognize Arya? Probably not. If we come to a satisfactory arrangement, she's gonna try and kill him. <laughs> You know, I should have known that was the Lannister's banner because it's red and gold. I knew that, but I know I know it's red and gold. I know the colors. Who you know at one point? <laughs> Here she is. Hey, you want a clam? My chances. Whereas the promise of reward makes a man. Ah, uh, no. Too old. Oh. Bro, too old. Look at yourself. What do you mean? Bro, you're just mad you don't age like fucking Severson. Severson's probably 30 years older than you, but fool moves like he's fucking 21. <laughs> you're getting stiff, Severson. I can see it. I meant Sir Mayor, not if I said Severson, I meant Sir Too Mayor. old. Bro, what? Does he want to fuck a goddamn 16 year old? What the fuck? Nothing better for your cock. Uh, this, I don't. I don't know if he. Uh, does he recognize her? It's, fuck it. I think he does. Yeah, he does. He's not gonna say anything though. He's too drunk. Who let this girl in? Shoot! Shoot! Oh, okay. Bro, she's like fucking twelve. Good. Wow. <sighs> You'll have a fresh one for me tomorrow. Oh my fucking god, dude. All right, you need to kill him right now, dude. Save that girl. You need to kill him. Bro, we gotta get Jagan to go and kill him. Jagan could pull it off. Arya, she's not ready yet. You can swear your allegiance to him, or you can die. Damn. She can't. Ah, she, uh, she better die. Wow. Oh. It hurts her a lot, though. Like, those three girls see their leader giving up. Yeah, she, it, hurts, it hurts her. I believe in second chances. Oh. I don't believe in third chances. Ah. <laughs> yeah, third's too many. <laughs> he's fair. I like him. He's he's really fair. And he just he just wants peace. He just wants bet what's best for his kingdom. He doesn't want to deal with this bullshit of like a war and everything. You write like a seven year old. <laughs> you know, I was gonna I was gonna say Jamie has to learn how to write with his left hand. I already know it's gonna be ass. And then she just says that. The dance of dragons. You mean the house of dragons? Sometimes the world forces his hand. I don't like this music. Forgive me. No. No. No, 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 bro. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. 
Oh, you just see it in their faces, dude. No, no. Ah, oh, he's doing it. He's gonna fucking do it. He's gonna fucking sacrifice her to the Lord of Light. It will all be over soon, princess. No, bro. No. Dog. Do this! Please let go! This is my father! Where are you, please? Bro, Stan's probably doesn't want to hurt us. See him. It's a good thing. A great thing. No, bro. If we get attacked, we'll all starve here. All of us. Uh... Make this sacrifice. Accept this token of our faith, my lord, and lead us. No. There's no other way. It's King's blood. Yeah. Oh no no no! <laughs> no, she can't watch her own daughter be fucking burned. Yeah, this is hard to watch. This is hard to watch with her. Please don't show it. Don't. Please don't show me her body. Uh, it's hard to listen to. So is that why he sent away Sir Devos, to, like to go get resources? But that's why he wouldn't he, he wouldn't let anyone go with him. He's like, no, that's my family. My family stays here, and so Sir Devos couldn't talk him out of this because he didn't tell Sir Devos at all about this. Fuck, uh, it's just like that's how desperate Stannis is to win this fucking war, dude. Come on, these are the great games. In the last episode, Jorah was like. If I win, whatever, will I be fighting in front of the queen again? And the dude is like, yeah, so... Jorah's probably gonna pull up here and fight in front of her again. And then she's probably gonna have to watch him die. I got the quick guy. Ah. She doesn't even want to start it because it's like... She doesn't want to see people fucking die. Oh. Where should put your money? Smaller man it is. That's where I put my money on. Experience. Large men do triumph over smaller men. Far more often than not. Yeah, if the smaller man's slow too. You ever tried to kill another man who was trying to kill you? Whenever I got to the pit. Oh, why are you being hella mean to him? Fuck, I forget his name. I, D Dorian? I think his name's Dorian. He's just fucking fucking with him because he's fucking Cleese's behind back. Like, that, guy, that guy's married to her, but he's fucking her. I knew I could rest easy. <laughs> okay, that was fucking just quick and sudden. I guess the stronger man did get a win. All right. You know, the quicker guy, he should have won, but he he got fatigued, so he slowed down. And then once he's, once your quickness goes away, you're you're waxed. Very conditions for greatness. That is greatness. Yeah. Which existed long before you or I, and will remain standing long after we've returned to the dirt. I guess. My father would have liked you. Yeah, he would have. It's Jora. Ah, no, please don't die. Please don't die, Jora. I pray, please. Oh. Jora. Jora doesn't give a fuck, dude. He'd rather die than live in a world without her. Wow. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like I feel like Jorah wins. Maybe I don't know. I can see him winning, but I can also see him fucking getting killed. Cause like the stones, the stone men thing's gonna kill him anyway, eventually. Oh! Yeah, Tyrion's nervous too, cause he likes Jorah. Oh! 
I mean, Jorah's a good fighter. He's, he's good. He's good. I have faith. Unless he gets snaked right here. Okay. No, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, imagine Overin in this. Overin would just go off. No, he's not down. He's not down. Oh, yeah, Khaleesi's nervous too. She doesn't want to see him fucking die. No, 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 no. Is she gonna stop it? Is she gonna do something? You can end this. She kind of. You can. Okay, 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 okay. Now, is that guy gonna be a good gladiator? Let him get up? Okay, he's letting him get up, at least, okay. It's like, thank you. I like Cleese's necklace. That shit's fucking sick. That's some shit Vinny Hacker would have. Okay. Ooh, Jorah hit him with a fucking Imanori roll. Nah, that wasn't a minority role, but that would have been all funny if it was. <laughs> what, nobody wanted Jorah to fucking win? <laughs> He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Don't make the same mistake Obrian did. <laughs> oh! What the fuck? What the fuck, Jorah? Yes, Why? Oh, the dude behind her. Okay. Oh, that guy just tried to do it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, no! Ah, it's a setup! It's a setup! Okay, I thought Jordan was about to kill her for a second. I was like, wait, he totally missed. But then I realized they had the mask. Okay. See, bro, the fighting pits were a fucking horrible idea. Oh, the unsullied better go off, though, bro. Come on. We are, oh. Come with me! I know my help! I know my help! No! I, I liked him, dude. Oh, come on, Jorah. Yes! Yes. See? He's still loyal. Yes! 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 No, but he, he's dead. He's dead. You gotta leave him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, not her, not her, not her, not her. Uh, oh! Yes, Tyrion, yes! No, 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 oh! Oh, okay, okay. Bet, bet. Bro, Jorah and Dorian are- that's a- dude, they're taking anyone. One-on-one -on -one each, two-on-two. -on -two. I got Jorah and Dorian. I- I know I'm butchering his name, I know. Bro, is the entire city the fucking these fucking people? Like, everyone in this goddamn arena? Bro, it's like the Battle of Geonosis right now. We need all the clones. To, we need Yoda and the clones to pull up right now. <laughs> Around the survivors of Perpetual Create. <laughs> Bro, if they all just rush, they can't do shit, like... Bro, the dragon has to come through. The dragon has to come through right now. That's the only way we're getting out of this. That's it. Yeah, they're, they're accepted. You, you either accept your death or your dragon comes through right now. Summon the dragon. Yes! Yes! Came through! Okay, but he has to, the dragon. Oh, yeah, they're all just gonna run away. Fucking Tyrion's like, holy fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, who the fuck did that? Who the fuck did that? 
bro, yeah, are you burning innocent people too? Uh, how many spirits can this dragon take? How many? How many? Oh. <laughs> Uh, you gotta go, Drago. I think it's, I think Dragon's name is Drago. Oh, I did not like that. But that's, that's, that's its queen. That's Nala when I wake her up. I need you to just get out of here. You're gonna take too much damage. <laughs> And the other two dragons are chained up too. <gasps> There's a hole in its fucking wing. Oh yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going. Vla. Yep, yep. <laughs> Come on, Yafa. <laughs> oh god. Oh, what about the red? What about everyone else? Oh bullshit, she's hanging on right there. You know how much fucking G, you know how much force, G force or whatever is gonna, that's gonna fucking create? She's flying right off. She has no grips on that dragon. No grips. It's like me trying to grab this fucking desk. Like, no way. I mean, it was, it was, it was a great moment though. I'll allow it. All right, well that's the end of this episode. All right, well that was Game of Thrones season five, episode nine. Fuck. All right, well that was season five, episode nine. All right, so no major death really. Only, per only like major death really was fucking Stannis's daughter. <laughs> RIP to her, man. She had, dude, I feel so bad for her, dude. She was like, I'll do anything for you, father. Like, I'll do anything. But she didn't know it was gonna be that. Like, dude, I guess it's like, that's just how desperate Stannis is to win the war. Like, I didn't think he'd fucking do it. I mean, like, I was like, kind of half on that. I was like, you know, he fucking might. He fucking might do it. But still, it's like, dog, that's his fucking daughter. <sighs> I think after Ramsey sent his 20 men over to attack, it kind of was like, okay, no, like, I need to make a move. He's like, I need to make a move. We need to sacrifice her again to fucking do this. So, uh, bro, like, why couldn't they just do the leeches like they do with Genji? Genji. Gendry. Gendry, yeah. Why couldn't they just do the leeches? They, they didn't kill him. Sir Devil sent him off. He's like, go away. Go. Get out of here. I'm, I'm setting you free. Get the fuck out of here. You know? So, and it fucking worked when they did it to him. So, I don't know. It might work now, but... Whatever, Sir Devil is gonna be fucking so butthurt. No, he should be hurt. He's going to be so hurt, so understandably hurt when he gets back. <sighs> Fuck, dude, that was like his best friend, too. Like, he's gonna be like, dog, Stannis, I can't follow you anymore, fam. Like, I can't, no, fuck this, I can't do it. I doubt it, but he might, he might. And then, okay, fucking, f okay, I'm really happy Jor didn't die. I was thinking, okay, yeah, Stannis' daughter just died but maybe they'll give us another uh, big death. Like, ten, okay, maybe they're not gonna give us like one really giant death. They're gonna give us like a bunch of like smaller ones, you know, like medium deaths. You know, Stannis' daughter was more like a small death. Jory would be like a high to medium death. You know, he's not like, he's not like a super main character, but he's a pretty important character still, you know? So I, I kind of thought, okay, maybe he's gonna die, but thank God he didn't. But I mean, like, I mean, like, dog, it's not, it's not a good reason why he didn't die, because the fucking dumbass, like, Sons of Harpy, I think that's their name, came out and they just fucking ambushed them at the Coliseum. It was a setup, you know. And Khaleesi's never wanted to do this fucking bullshit game show, whatever. But her husband talked her into doing it, and he died. So like, RIP to him. But fuck, I mean, like, he had a point. He was trying to like get her to embrace the culture of marine you know or the citizens would get hella pissed but it's like dog it's not it's not morally right but i guess i guess it is back in the day but cleese has a good heart <sighs> but then okay so they got surrounded right and then the dragon came through picked her up swooped her she got the fuck out of there well i guess like the sons of harpy they don't really care as much about they don't care about like Tyrion, jorah 
Dario. I, I do. I fuck. I, I haven't said his name in so long. I, I'm pretty sure that's his name though. And everyone else, like, I guess they don't care about them. They only want Khaleesi. So she got away. And so it's like, okay. It's like, okay, I guess they'll leave everyone else alone. I mean, like, they should probably kill them, but they're probably not going to. I don't know. We'll see in the next episode. But, okay, dude, how many, like, spears could that dragon take? Because, like, after, like, two, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Like, this dragon's kind of taking some damage. So, I guess, yeah, the dragon probably... Okay, if we okay, if we were to have a war, this dragon should not come on land. This dragon should just stay in the air and just flame everyone from above. But it's, like, hard to do that because when you're flaming from above, like, you can't control a flame. It, you can't, like, pinpoint where it's going to hit. It's going to just get, get a, a mass amount of people. So, you're going to flame your own soldiers by doing that. I'm pretty sure the dragon flames civilians in the Colosseum, too. Like, people without the mask are getting flamed. So, I was gonna say, like, it's not like the dragon can just flame everyone around Khaleesi's and all of them because it'll pr the flames will probably hit them, but, like, I mean, the fire probably wouldn't affect Khaleesi's because, like, she did stay in the fire for 12 hours to get the, you know, to hatch the eggs and stuff, but it would fucking just fucking burn everyone else, so. And, like, with Stannis' daughter, like, dude, that scene was hard to watch, dude. Like, it, like okay, I'm, I'm happy it didn't show it. Like, once they started the fire, it just, it didn't show her anymore but dude just listening to her that was hard man like i don't i don't want to listen to that again like if i watch someone else's reaction on this episode i'm probably not i'm probably not gonna listen to that part like that part just like ah oh, dude it just hurt it hurt the watch because dude she's such a sweet girl like she didn't deserve that i mean like shout out to the actress that played that played his daughter like she did a great job right there <laughs> but like damn like, fuck, and like the thing with Stannis, like literally sacrificing his daughter, it shows you how desperate he is to win and get the Iron Throne. But at the same time, like, dude, if he like he literally he has to win. Now. He has to do it. He literally has to. Nothing like like his mentality really is. We march forward in defeat or you march forward in victory. Either way, we go forward because now it's like if like, OK, he's in like a final battle about to get it and he, he realizes he's losing. He's probably going to want to die. You know, like, it, but like, even if he wins and gets the Iron Throne, it's not going to be worth it in the end because, like, yeah, you won. You have it now. You have what you wanted so badly, but you have nothing now. Like, like you still have Melisandre and your queen, but like, that's, but like, dog, no, that's your daughter, though, bro. Like, I don't think it's worth it, you know, because, like, what's the point of being king if you came, you don't even have your daughter? Like, I, I guess you could have an, you could get an, you could have a new daughter, but like, still, it's not the same. Like, like, I really, I honestly feel like Stannis is going to regret it. Like, here's the thing. He didn't want to do it, but at the same time, he wanted to win more than he, him not wanting to do it. So I feel like whether he wins it or very shortly, he's going to end up regretting it. If he wins and gets the Iron Throne, he'll definitely regret it then. But because it's like, it's like you get, like, you get something you so desperately wanted. And then when you finally get it, like when you sacrifice a lot to get it, it's like, damn, that really wasn't worth it. You know, like I have it now and then like it was a lot better in my head. You know, like when you save up a lot of money to go buy something you really wanted, like it's cool that you have it and you're happy that you have it now. But you're like, damn, was it, is it really worth it? Like now that I have it, I can experience it. I don't know. All right, but that was Game of Thrones season five, episode nine. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.